inter-island ferry and I'm going from Picton to Wellington. I'm also going from side to side and up and down. So I'm not feeling very well. I'm actually feeling a bit sea. <sighs> well, I know why they call it seasick. It's because you can see the sick. <sighs> but why do we get seasick, hmm? I think we get seasick because of, of all the movement of the waves that, that, that we don't very, not very used to. Because you go too fast. People are too scared of water and it's make them really spew up. From the sound of the ocean. Because the waves go up and down and looking at them all the time they make us feel sick. If you've just eaten, then all the food in your stomach will move around and then and it'll get, make you feel sick. I think people are allergic to sea. Because the movement of the waves and staring at the water for us. Um, too long. You know, you could be right, but because they call it seasickness, maybe it has something to do with the sea. Like maybe something to do with the smell. Mm, the smell of the sea, or the taste of the sea, or maybe that was just the taste of my lunch. Oh. Hey, but I have felt this way when I've been in a car before. You know, you're in the car, travelling over the hills, you're happily reading a book, then all of a sudden you feel a little queasy. Like... <sighs> well, you get the picture. <coughs> hey, check out the view. You know, the boat's not moving around so much anymore, so I'm not feeling so seasick. So I'm thinking now that seasickness has something to do with movement or motion. And I have heard it called motion sickness before, but I tell you what, it's not just any old kind of motion or movement that makes me feel sick. Oh, no. I mean, I can do all sorts of wild and crazy moves like the mashed potato and the funky chicken and still not feel sick. Silly, maybe, but not sick. And it's not really how fast I go that decides whether I feel sick either. You know, I can really get up some speed when I'm skiing, but I don't feel sick. Oh, sore, maybe, but not sick. Oh. And I think that's because I know how I'm moving and where I'm going to move to next. But how can we tell which way we're moving? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we see. Our eyes see where we're going, and they send messages to our brain telling us all about it. Like, I can see you, and you can see me. Oh, and I can see myself going up and down, and up and down, and from side to side, and, oh. I tell you what, though, if I close my eyes, then I won't see all that movement. I can just relax and relax, and whoa! Oh. <clears throat> and fall over. Oh, I lost my balance there. Hey, balance. Now that's something to do with your ears. Hey, you know how your ears are for hearing with, right? Well, they have another important job too. In your inner ear, away inside where you can't see, there are little bits which work together to figure out which way up you are. And if you're standing up straight, or falling over, or turning left, or turning right. And they send their own messages to the brain saying, We're moving left! We're turning right! Ooh, we're in a spin. Uh, no, we're straightened up again. So there's at least two ways for your brain to figure out where your body is and which direction it's moving in. Your inner ear bits are sending messages, and your eyes are sending messages too. And all those messages are heading straight for... your brain! Your brain, your brain. Maybe the problem is all in your mind. These are the voyages of Spaceship Brain. And here's what's going on inside. Look, it's Commander Susie T. Cato, the brains behind the brain. I wonder what she's thinking. Hmm, I think I'll have this repainted in cream. Or maybe light blue. <clears throat> all right, my hardy crew of the Spaceship Brain. Report by the numbers. Which way is the body moving? First officer, eyes peeled? Captain, the eye sensors report that the body we're a part of is turning left. Turning left. Very good. 
And second officer, prick up your ears. Captain, the inner air sensors also report that the body we're a part of is turning left. Excellent. Both the ears and the eyes report that the body is turning left. Everybody prepare for a left turn. Aye, aye. Hear, hear. So the eyes and the ears are both reporting in the same movement and all is calm in the brain. But now watch what happens when the ears and the eyes report in different kinds of movement to the brain. Captain, the eye sensors report the body we're a part of is turning left and going down. Left and down. Everybody prepare for left and down. No, no, Captain. The air sensors report we're turning right and going up. No, left and down. Which way is it, man? Right and up? Left or down? Which? Left, up, down. Right. Whoa. 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 Don't know which way we're going. Captain, the vomit reactor has gone past warp 12. It's out of control. The brain can't take much more. It's short-circuiting to the stomach. Uh oh. See? Oh. It's that sort of thing that causes seasickness or any kind of motion sickness. The brain is getting messages from our eyes and from our inner ears, telling us where the body is and where it's moving to. And when both of those parts agree, everything's fine. But when they start sending mixed messages, oh, the brain gets really confused. Then it's panic stations, and the result is we end up feeling really yuck. And if you're in a car, the worst thing you can do is read if you're a motion sickness kind of person. Because your eyes are telling your brain you're not moving, but as the car moves left and right and up and down, your ears are saying, whoa, all sorts of movement here. Hey, hey, listen. It's much better that you look out at the scenery in the distance. Then your eyes and your ears will have a better chance of agreeing on how you're moving, and hopefully you won't feel quite so bad. Ah, there is some good news. There are some things you can do to stop yourself from getting motion sickness. When you're on a boat and it's going up and down and up and down, you need to look towards the horizon. That's the bit where the sky meets the sea. You'll see it going up and down and up and down, and hopefully your eyes and your ears will start sending your brain the same message. If you'd like information about this program, or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. So we've got some different ways of knowing which way our body is moving and when it's moving, and two of those main ones are our eyes and our inner ears. And when those guys are agreeing which way we're going, everything's fine. It's when they don't that we end up feeling car sick or seasick. Hey, maybe you've got some other cures for car sickness or seasickness. If you do, I'd really like to hear about them in a real hurry. <gasps> Just kidding. I'll see you next time. Ka kite. This program was brought to you by New Zealand On Air.